Hi, it's Jill Goodell again, and I'm here today to talk about water brushes. These are fabulous uh, tools to use for your travel sketching. No longer do you have to bring um, a bottle of water plus a brush and have all these other things. You can just take one of these brushes and um, fill it with water, and, and then you're off and running. This was originally, uh, the story goes that originally there were watercolor brushes and had watercolor in here. And there was a guy in Japan who took the watercolor out and just substitute with water and he started using this as his watercolor brush. It's very convenient and it's fairly easy to use. So what you have here is um, you have a barrel, you have a clutch, and you have the top part. And you take your nail and you can undo the, the clutch and and then you fill this with water and this is the clutch after you put the water in you put this back in and then you put this together and voila you've got your brush together um, the the uh, this was about seven years ago these were pretty hard to find but now you can get them at um, most stores art stores including Michaels they will sell them in the stamping section. Nietzsche, N-I-J-I, -I, is well, the, the first company I used, and they have different size um, um, <coughs> brushes. So this is the really small, and then this is the medium, and they have a large, and now they also have a flat brush. So it's very, very uh, convenient, easy to use when you're traveling, and they don't take up a lot of space. I usually just take one with me, when I'm out and about. The other product is called Aquaflow and these are really good as well. Same process. Now their brushes are a little bit bigger. Their clutch is not black but clear but is you know it's uh, the same process. You take off the clutch and um, then you fill it up with water, put this back in and then screw that back on and the top goes like that. And then they have a, a, a set of like four for around $20. And they also have a flat. Um, the, the difference between these and Nietzsche is that this is harder plastic, so it's harder to get the water out. Talking about, speaking of Aquaflow, I would not buy these brushes. These are their cheaper models, and they don't have a, a, a clutch at all. So what happens is you get green paint in here, and you're painting away and all of a sudden all this becomes green. These cost about $3.50 for three, so you're getting what you pay for, so don't do, don't buy those. Uh, more models have been coming out as this has been, have become popular, and this is one of my favorites. It's a Pentel, and I get it at a company called JetPens.com, J-E-T, just like the jet plane, JetPens.com, and um, the reason I like this one is because the clutch is actually in here, not over here. So I enjoy that, um, and it's small. I enjoy the the smallness. Smallness, as I've said over and over again, the um, the less you take, the lighter you are, the better it is. Um, so this is a really nice one. Then this one I found on Jet Pens, which I think is the most fun of all, and this is the brush container. And when you take this out, here's the brush, and you put the brush in here, and you've got your brush. And it's nice and small. Don't open it or close it with going like that because the water will come out. You always want to do it upright. I've had these brushes for about a year now in my, my kits, and none of them has leach yet. And what's really nice is it also comes with a little um, water carrier. So... This is what the package looks like, and it is all in Japanese, and so we just have to trust that we know what we're doing. And it's about $5. I really like that. So, again, it's small, and it's easy to take around with you. So what I thought I would do is I would take one of these and just demonstrate how you use them. So on the barrel itself, it says push. So you go ahead and push that, and you can get your water out. So you don't have to carry a spray bottle. You can just go ahead and use this. And then I'm going to paint the roof here. 
and I'm going to make it a little bit, make some terracotta kind of. By the way, I'm using a Winsor Newton. Um, I really like that company. This set is uh, fairly inexpensive, and I will be doing a, a whole section on traveling with watercolor down the road. But um, and you can see how well it takes. Then what I want to do is if I want to clean it, then you just move it like this until you've got a clean brush. And then what I have here is a sweatband, which was given to me by a student. And it's, a great, uh, it's great to use as cleaning off your brush. So, um, and then I will use the little Pentel one. That's a, a nice one too. Same principle, you press and you get the water out. And um, what I'm going to do is make this a little bit lighter than the, the roof itself and bring that in. That's a little bit too yellowish. So, and you can tell how I can, with this set, with the Winsor Newton set, I can do a lot of um, mixing and stuff like that. I don't like to put too much um, paint on my, my, um, drawings because it takes away from the pen from the pen work. So I, I've gotten a little carried away here, but that's okay. These things happen. And um, so that shows you how that one works. And last but not least, the, the little small one. And I, I don't know what it's, the name is, but it's um, by Kurataki. I'm not I don't know how to say, not for, well versed in Japanese, but um, it's a nice brush too. So you know you're not going to be you're going to be using a lot of detail, so you don't have to have a lot of um, paint, and you don't have to have um, a, a large brush. It's not like you're painting a huge canvas or that type of thing. So, and there you have it. Um, these are brushes are all available. Uh, most of them are available online. Um, the Aquaflow and the um, I believe the uh, Nietzsche you can buy even on Amazon.com. These others with jet pens are basically you can buy it with jetpens.com. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you next time. Bye.